Offline TV reached out to me and they were like, hey, would you like to do an improv video? I was like, yeah, I would, I would love to do an improv video. I love improv. And I, I forget what I was doing beforehand. I might've been doing a, a fear end episode, but I was doing something directly before uh, the video was scheduled. And so I raced over there and offline TV was just finishing a separate video. I'm going to be honest, I kind of expected for there to be like a, a professional improviseer running a class or like some schedule of like what we were doing. But uh, they were kind of like, yeah, just teach us improv. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, wow. That's for a cool oh, oh, OK. Oh, all right. I haven't done this in like two and a half years because COVID. So we kind of just like got up. And, and did it, we did the damn thing. And I was very out of practice. And, and obviously everyone in OTV is so funny and so talented, but I felt, I felt so like ill prepared for it, but everybody was so funny, especially Michael Reeves. God, Michael Reeves was, I was cracking me up. I'm sure half the things he said didn't make it into the video because he was lewd. Um, but I had so much fun. Uh, getting to play around with them. Oh, and I haven't watched this video yet. Um, Cyber Garrett, thank you so much. So I'm really excited to watch this with you guys for the first time. Uh, you will see my my authentic reaction because I have not thought about this in months. So uh, yeah, let's go. Dude, their their production is insane. Hello everyone, and welcome to they make such good stuff. TV video. We are offline TV, and today we are joined <laughs> Mr. Will Neff. Don't address me as that. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Mr. Neff. Mr. Neff. <laughs> Mr. Neff is gonna be. Uh, Thank you so much for the prime. Takes up improv. I haven't done improv in like I a school for a while, but time. I think I, I can get us through episodes. some basic stuff. I you cried three episodes into Primal. Oh my God, you're you're so. <laughs> You got a lot of tears to come then. I think a lot of what you guys do in your daily lives will bring some level of expertise to this. Or it's going to go very badly. <laughs> That's, dude, you can see the very real fear in my face. This is real fear, though. This is like real panic. Uh, I was like, all right, lead an improv class. Here we go. <laughs> Tech Shabby, thank you for the prime. Before improv, improvisers usually do awful games that make you yes. feel terrible. Yes. And the reason they make you feel terrible is you want to get that fear out of the way. This is like the improv equivalent of like imagining a whole room naked. You're doing things that are awful and they're going to make you feel stupid. It's Bork Laser, thank you. <laughs> you have to steer into that cringe like a horrible car accident. Everybody so the reason I said that, I I'm going to be pausing and kind of teaching you guys as well. Uh, the reason I said that and got a targeted toast there is I could see Toast's face, right? As he was kind of like cringing a little bit. And it's 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 a very authentic feeling. When when you first go up and just start playing in front of a room and doing improv in front of a room, this is the feeling you have. Where you're like, oh my God, what am I doing? This is so silly. I wish I wasn't here. Why am I doing this? And uh, that's like a natural feeling. And it's interesting because it's, it's kind of like, it's almost like a tickle where if someone is tickling you, you're like very blah. But if you tickle yourself, you kind of get used to it um, in a very weird way. So these warm up games that improvisers do before they perform or before they do a class is basically to get that feeling out of the way by making yourself feel as like awful as possible right off the bat and just get it out of the way. So <laughs> I saw Toast having like the, the, the I'm about to do improv feeling that almost everybody has. Things that are awful and they're gonna make you feel stupid and you have to embrace <laughs> really it. You have to steer into that cringe like a horrible car accident. Everybody get in a circle. And what you're doing is you're making eye contact and you're gonna throw this around and you're gonna go zip and then you're gonna pass it to someone else. And you're gonna go zap. Okay, so one thing I kind of missed here because I was trying to teach the game and, and maybe I said it or, and they cut it out, but eye contact is so important in improv. And the reason that eye contact is so important in improv is because you're, you're sending messages to the, the people you're on stage with, right? If there's no script, 
um, that the, then the only way that you're going to syncopate a scene well or deliver information well is if you're watching someone. So if you ever watch uh, improv as ears, they, they, they like lock in to each other's eyes. And I've always been terrible about that because I hate eye contact. I don't know why. It makes me feel naked. It makes me feel uncomfortable. But it's like something you got to learn where you're, you're like giving this weird level attention uh, to the people on stage with you. And you're gonna make eye contact. So yeah. pass it. Zap. Zap. And then you pass it to someone else. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop, brother. Zap. Zip. Thank you, Space Zap. Cadet. Stop. Faster. What's up, dude? Zop. Zip. Faster. Zip. Zap. Zop. Zip. Faster. Zop. Zip. Zap. Stop. Zip. Zap. Stop. Zip. Stop. Zip. Stop. Zip. Target her. She's weak. Zip. Zap. <laughs> Zip. <laughs> this is what improv is. So, so that's like one thing that almost all improvs will do. Uh, if, if someone on stage is breaking, they're, they're really going to lean into it because the audience loves that. Everybody get a, gets a kick out of someone cracking. Um, one person who was famous, famous, famous for this is Will Ferrell. If you ever watch Will Ferrell, uh, in any of his Saturday night live bits, uh, Basically, Will Ferrell has an unca like an uncanny ability to get his scene partners to crack. And whenever that would happen, he would just like hook into them and destroy them. Um, Jimmy Fallon basically made a career of being the guy who cracked, um, which is which is which is hilarious, but it almost always kind of like improved the scene to watch this kind of like milk toast dude just lose the plot. So uh, that's something that a lot of people who do improv will do. If they see you cracking, they're just gonna dial into you. We're gonna leave two people on stage who wants to be our first two. Oh, and everybody ran. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. That was, that scared the shit out of me. It's like, Will, you're teaching an improv class and you're like, all right, first game. And everybody fucking bolts. I was like, oh shit. Oh, yeah, wow. oh God! Because <laughs> it's red so fast. Improvisers start by picking. God, OTV's production is insane. Sloss nine two four, thank you, and Ostrom, thank you. Okay, um, orphanage. You are getting adopted for the first time. You want to come home? Your parents died. You want to come home? Who are you? Freeze! An audience member calls Freeze, takes the position of one of the improvised ears, and starts. No scope for show. Thank you. Prompt. Listen, Michael, I know we've only met a few times, but will you marry me? <laughs> Don't say no. Don't say no. I'll kill myself. Of course. Michael is so good. Michael did. He is just naturally good at everything. Boxing, improv, stock market, whatever. This guy's cracked. <laughs> you got it. Take it away. No, I, well, I got the I got the orphanage, so I'm kind of tapped out on creative juices. So. Remember, this is supposed to feel terrible. It's gonna feel brutal. <laughs> I love my notes. My notes are like, you are not gonna enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Twins, what about you? Oh uh, no, eating eating no too much. It's not bait children. Oh. That's really fucked up oh. of you to assume sorry. that this was children. So sorry. Please, Cindy, you're in. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this watermelon is too heavy. My back is falling. Please help. Can you please help? <laughs> Don't matter. Dude, I love, like, her hands. <laughs> her space work is so crazy. Like, where is that watermelon? <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Please. I need you to eat this watermelon. Oh, freeze. Wait, one sec. Nah, no. Ah, fuck that. So the other thing that's happening is like, this is freeze tag, right? This is like a very day one game yeah, you do in improv. Oh, and when you do this with improv people, right? Like theater kids, they're all like chomping at the bit. So you get like two seconds into your scene. Someone's like, freeze. And they're like immediately jump on, right? Well, what I hadn't experienced before is being in a room where no one wanted to tag in ever. So I started having to like tag people in because they let these go entirely too long. And if I remember correctly, they let this go with the two of these guys basically fucking during freeze tag for a long time. 
red foot green. Okay. That's, yeah. that's <laughs> it. Yeah. So like I'm I'm like okay, definitely time to tag in, right guys? Okay, left foot. And I'm like waiting. You can see my face. <laughs> like get in, get in. <laughs> Bake your poison. <laughs> Toast their muscles are gonna give out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, look at this. <laughs> look at the pose Master Yoshi's in, dude. It's like a full Eddie Gordo break dancing pose. Wrist. <laughs> dude, anything off the top of your head, come on. <laughs> you can't think, you can't think. First thing out of your head. What are you doing? Anything. Anything. What position would leave you like this? Sex. G good answer. Good answer. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, sorry. My, it doesn't work like it used to. So I think the two people that I'm going to make captains are the people that I think are going to struggle the most. I think you two are our captains. But this leaves you a lot of opportunity to rise to the occasion. You are a habitual laugher. I know. And you are a habitual <laughs> overthinker. And I think you guys just need to Striker T93, thank you. First thing you're gonna do is pick your first person go. You have one second. Lily. Oh, there you go. Pick your first person go. John. Pick your second person go. City. Done. Oh, Teams. boys versus girls. Yeah. So that's like one thing that it, it, some people uh, struggle with in improv. And it doesn't mean that they're not funny. It doesn't mean that they're not great performers. But improv, you need to basically turn off your, your, yeah, well, your inclination to think. Halfway. You just have to jump the conclusions, you just have to spit stuff out. And that's why I just started getting them in the habit of like, you, you, you. Ah. Classic BVG matchup. Sounds like an wow. STD. <laughs> the audience will attempt to not laugh and spit out water. One spit equals one point for team boys. <laughs> Where did they get this piece of footage for? This has got to be the, the uh, archive.com right here. This has got to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Farmer John. Yeah, what, what is it? You notice what's wrong with all these cabbages. In, in the wheelbarrow? <laughs> in the wheelbarrow, I'm pushing. Why are they red? Well, they're red cabbages. So they're supposed to be red. That's not what's wrong with them. There's blood coming out of them. Oh yeah, that that one is wow, not supposed to happen. Cool. What oh do you my. think it is? Some kind of Sam. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. yeah, wow, that's <laughs> Thank you for being here. Oh, cold dung it! <laughs> my blood cabbages. Oh, that's my new special blend I've been working on. You oh. stole these? Oh wait, these are your blood cabbages. Those are my blood cabbages. And look, I brought my rake all the way over here. <laughs> That's a nice looking rake. Thank you. Look, Show it goes in three different directions: forward, <laughs> sideways, <laughs> back. <laughs> Poor Michael. Poor Michael. Anyway, I've been thinking we should join our farms mm -hmm. together. Regular. Me with my blood cabbages. Uh -huh. You with your regular cabbages. Farmer Toast, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's what's up? You guys. Work over there. I'm just gonna play with my butter churn here. I said we just take cabbages on. <laughs> it was in our wheelbarrow. <laughs> okay, dude. The, like the 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 mayo jar noises that they added. <laughs> last drag me around like Michael. Thank you, crying Shavis. <laughs> yeah, like we stole a legal. Ooh, that's really yeah. churning. Okay. Now. <laughs> Michael makes me laugh so much. Wow. How much churn? These voice cues are amazing. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we have a proposition for you. Yes? You keep our wagon, and we'll keep the blood cabbages. This is a wagon? Oh, we. Can it support me weight, though? Oh, we. Feels a little brittle. 186 pounds. Do we have pounds. ourselves a deal? Yeah. Oh, wait, Farmer John, grab the baseball bat. Grab the baseball bat? <laughs> oh, my Lord. Stand back. It's our cabbages now. Yeah. What a large baseball bat. We decide to just... A little smooch. Thank you so much. Cabbages. Oh if you God. don't like it, we're going to hit so you. Kind of, we're neighbors. It's a goddamn stick up now, boy. Let him have it. <laughs> Such a slow moving bat. Oh. Now stay off our farm. Yeah. That was great. They had so much fun with that. That was awesome. You guys did awesome. It's good. Thank Especially you. the prop, who I think I heard your shoulder crunch a few times. I'm used to it. It's okay. I've interrupted <laughs> this content for a brief announcement on war. Battle is more than what happens on the field. Listen, I love me 
some OTV and you should watch the rest of this ad. You absolutely should for NordVPN. <laughs> but we're going to, we're going to, we're, we, we're, we are, we're going to, we're going to skip it. Hey, Sydney, check hey. out my elephant transformer. Oh my God, this is so cool. I it's know, an I elephant. Found it by the river. I wonder if it makes that noise. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. If you press this button, it makes a really funny noise. <laughs> Like that one, isn't that? <laughs> yeah, but I was looking for like you know the elephants say like <laughs> they do the. <laughs> Let's see if I can try that one. I think it might be broken. No, no, no! If you press this one. Whoever did the the sound effects for this was incredible. Turn it Holy face. cow, you guys! You found a transformer. Yeah. It's Brad. I hate him. Brad, it's not your toy. I'm sorry, but it's just so cool. Usually they transform into cars or airplanes. This one's an elephant for some reason. It can transform into a car too. Watch. Yeah. It's oh, cool. let me see. It does something like this, this? and then like that. Yeah. Oh my God. You can even ride it. Really? Yeah. Can we ride it? I don't know. Let's find it. <laughs> I love how I was just habitually throwing the props under the bus. I was just like c consistently putting the props in terrible positions. I'm gonna fit right there the because you're gonna take so the fast. I wonder if he can go faster. <laughs> I wonder if he can go even faster. <laughs> I wonder if he can go even faster. <laughs> Brad, shut the fuck up. Brad, shut the fuck up. I just have it. My mom says I have an inquisitive nature. <laughs> my mom says we have to play with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got a speech impediment, isn't it? <laughs> No, it's, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that one kind of stung a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Brad. Nothing to transform into. Oh my oh, God. Shit. It's a, it's a lamp. I Why know. would they ever make this feature? I don't know, does it light up? Wow. <laughs> so pretty. Oh does it talk? Me. That's cool. What, what the hell was that? <laughs> Me. Can do something else? What's the other thing? Oh, wow. God. it's an eagle. I'm probably gonna take it home with me. I was gonna say, but what if I wanted it? Well, Mom I, said we had to share. I'm like the most popular kid in class, so I think I deserve to bring it home. Oh. And no one likes Brad, so. Shit, you guys are fighting. <laughs> All right, there's only one way to go about this. Rock, paper, scissors. You're on. Rock, Rock paper, scissors. <laughs> oh my God, he did a I'm telling you, Mom. I'm telling Mom. That's my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Brad. That was awesome, dude. Was it hard? My knees. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I felt so bad fighting you. It's okay. Doctors performing surgery. Oh, fuck. We got to remove this huge cock thing off this guy. It's too big. <laughs> All right, let me... <laughs> This one goes off the rails, if I remember correctly. Put on the the hard monitor to make sure he's alive throughout the. So we were we we were doing this was we had to do sound effects, if I remember correctly. Grats on the child, thanks so much. I got a few of them now. Thing. I'll zip off the pants. <laughs> Fucking Megatron! Wow, that thing's huge. That's crazy. Can you take a selfie? Yeah. <laughs> They're taking selfies with the guy's cock. Like, look at the sound this makes. I slap it against my hand. Oh. oh, that's crazy. I'm really glad he's asleep for this. All right, let's get started. They're just gonna get the buzz saw. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I can hold it up. Toter Motor, thank you. <laughs> you have a kid? No, people are referring to their nine month subscriptions. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh my god! What about a baby? <laughs> the Swamp 15, thank you. An ugly fucking child. <laughs> I think we have to euthanize this one. Without him <laughs> knowing. Alright, uh, well, we have a few options. We can do injection or. <laughs> it won't shut up. Yeah, That's no. what I do to my kids, and it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's not working. Luckily. <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen closely as I cock my shotgun. I'll clean this out. Mm. Wow, I can't tell what's uh, blood and what's not. <laughs> left my baby in the operating room. <laughs> <laughs> Later. <laughs> Hang on, wait. I'm a little mad that my baby looks like a giant dick. <laughs> I'll be there in 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, doctor, I think we uh, ended up in the wrong room. The penis removal surgery is actually next door and we're actually in the baby <laughs> delivery room. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, and, oh, 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 so silly, yes. <laughs> what, a, what a dumb scene. I love it, dude. See, that's that's improv at its best. Is like when it's just so stupid and everybody agrees that it's stupid and you all have fun with it. They did a great job, dude. I have to say for everybody like maybe their first or second time doing kind of formal improv, they all crush this. <laughs> Thank you, Merc49. <laughs> Thank you, Mike Jesus North. Christ. Yeah, it was really dark. <laughs> he strangled his cock baby to death. <laughs> okay, uh, the president and her, tra okay, yeah, so this was a translator game where uh, basically you need someone to translate what's being said. One character doesn't speak uh, the language of the other two performers. They speak a gibberish language. Hello, Melinda. Go, go, thank you. And she just realized that you're the president. She's very, very excited. Come on, Come on. We're going fast, she says. Make sure you have your seatbelt on. She's actually a race driver in this country. Very, very famous. And so we're going to be drifting a lot here today. Um, I love how she's just laughing throughout the scene. She's having so much fun. She's gonna show you a really fucking awesome time. Afterwards, she's gonna take us out to the bar and we're gonna party really hard. How do you feel, Mrs. President? I'm on the way to the embassy. Could you let her know that, please? Oh, I'm gonna know what. I'm gonna know She's not happy with your. Mashi Yoshi doing a baby cry on a whim was genius. It was genius. He added really good info. So that's like that's like the you know one of the cores of improv is just adding fun information and everybody agreeing uh, that you've added that. She's asking, so like, what kind of readers do you like? Are you into orgies or like, do you want to? She's really into orgies. <laughs> she knows all the spots. What's an orgy? What's an orgy? Oh, you are here for orgy. I'm here for the embassy, actually. We do sex all together. Yeah, it's a great honor. It would be rude of us to deny this. Okay, yes, I'm here for the order. Have you ever been shared by 16 partners? No. We will make use of your feet. I was asking if you wanted a drink. <laughs> for cool. This video is fucking hilarious. Thank you so much. You guys did some great work. Oh yeah, wow. That's for cool. We have water. It's always Thank good you. to do. You don't want to cramp up while doing foot sets. That's yeah. true. Yes. Yeah, I've seen someone explode ACL. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm not very confident in these kinds of things. Oh, oh, oh. I've never had sex before. Wait, wait, wait. Never. Like with your feet or in general? It's <laughs> during your upcoming holiday season. Thank you so much. Well, in general. I'm a 40 year old virgin. They said they will take care of you tonight. We'll start with the feet stuff to, okay. to ease you okay. in, and then we'll worry about the we'll butt stuff. We'll slowly lean into butt stuff. My, yeah, <laughs> butt stuff later. My feet smell really bad. <laughs> That's even better. They love that here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the makeup. <laughs> Native, thank you so much. We're here, oh, and she'll see you. us at 7.15 for the orgy. Thank you. Right. I, I thank you so much. Right. Right. Do, I, do, I, do, I, do I tip them? Or? No, you tip them later with your feet. It's okay. Come on. That was fun. Good scene. <laughs> Good feet stuff. Good I like where that went. I like where that went.
we're doing a game called so learning. learning annex is like my favorite improv game because i think it gives people a really good chance to uh play a character very quickly and, and no one is like integral to the scene uh you can add information like very easily and basically what learning annex is is there's one person who's a teacher they're essentially the straight guy for the scene and then everybody else is given a character trait that they have to turn into a character Annex, where one of us will be the teacher teaching a uh, non-traditional subject, and the rest of us all have a cork which they have to identify by the end of the scene. And our corks are... I'm an undercover cop suspicious of murder on the professor's side. I'm high. <laughs> I'm the teacher's pet. <laughs> I'm an anime character. Bugs keep hitting me. I... I am very stupid, but I am trying my best to appear smart. <laughs> Toast is such a good straight man in this, too. Welcome. Uh, glad you guys are all here for uh, Taxidermy 101. Wow. Yeah, see you in the back. What are the, the numbers for at the end of the tap class? Oh, 101? <laughs> uh, that represents the difficulty of this class. So this what? is like an Get expert. The level. Get the bugs off your skin. Yeah, all right, so what you want to do, you guys all have a cat in front of you. Yes. Go ahead and take the cat out. Oh. Yeah, you in the back again. My cat is dead. Oh, yeah, wow. That's no, no, not your own cat, what the cat that's been provided. Uh, why are you playing chat? Wait, why are you playing chat in this? I, I, um, I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, but I appreciate you anyway. Is there a reason why you like that things? Oh, <laughs> thinks they're smart, but is dumb as hell. Very good. Very good. No, no. I think it's a beautiful art recreation. Oh, you think that's as beautiful? No, no, no. I think um, being able to uh, bring people joy in recreating, you know, a model out there. Is there something wrong, sir? Is there a, Is there a, a window open? I, <laughs> I don't see a window open. Where are these flies? There's no window open. Yeah, I feel the bugs, too. I feel yeah. bugs, too. Under the skin, yeah? Under the skin? No, I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah. They keep getting there. I brought my own cat. Is that okay? Blue Sun, no, thank no, no. you. And Delmer, 9713. Thank you for the 25-month streak. That's crazy. I'm using dead cats. But I already brought my own cat. Uh, you're not supposed to do that, but you can leave it here, but we won't be using the live cat. Sorry, Mittens. Oh, can I act like oh, a cat? Yeah, wow, that's for a cool... Gunny, gunny! Oh. You do great as a teacher. No, 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 no. We'll, we're just stuffing the cats today. The dead Aww. cats. Okay, well, well let's, just, let's just focus on the class. All right, everyone have to... Bah, me. 13, and thank you. In the first drawer, you MC notice, Keeper, like, thank uh, you. a pile of fluff, and you want to go through the mouth. I'm done. Are you okay? How yeah, yeah, I'm good. What do you think? Um, let me take a look. I watched some of your past videos. Wow, this is actually perfect. Have you done this before? Never. So but I've done it, you know, I've practiced a lot on, well, stuffed animals. And MRP Doc 806, uh, thank you. You're in the front. I, uh, do you have an allergy? Should I, do you need a, mm, a no. EpiPen? <laughs> no. Teacher, I also stuff something at home. I, it's a snake. <laughs> oh, yeah, so cool. <laughs> is it not easier than a cat? I didn't actually technically stuff it. I just kind of killed it and jammed a toilet paper tube down its mouth. <laughs> but pretty good. Does him killing the snake excite you? Do you want to take it? No, you hold on to that. No, I made it for okay. you. Why don't you just touch it? Oh, oh, wow. That's that's an actual snake you killed. Uh, okay. Yes. What kind of anime do you watch? I don't know why that is. You don't know anime? Thank you, Jinx. She was so good at the anime character. Are you familiar? I think Jody like really wants to impress like a teacher's pet. Sydney just seems to be a weeaboo, like a Japan file. Like she's an anime character. Close enough. Lily, she debates like she's oh, yeah, destined. Wow. Pens 90. <laughs> Pens 94, thank you. That's <laughs> not my intention. She's very focused, like an activist, like death. I was an undercover cop. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, my God. Michael just seemed like he was on fiending for crack or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Black Zone Blaze. Thank you. Um, Thank you so much. Fascinating that there's a fly <laughs> around him at all times. Very close. I like that bugs keep flying in his glasses. Bugs keep hitting me. Mr. Neff, you did such a good job. Thank you. He just, he seemed like a, a dumb jock in high school. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, Org the Top. Thank you for watching our improv shoot. If you like the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to Will Neff for coming to our improv shoot. Uh, thanks for coming and helping. Oh, 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 oh. See ya. Bye. 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 Yay! Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Did uh, th you know, huge thank you uh, to, to Offline TV for inviting me to do that. Advice for people thinking about taking it. I had a great time. They are all so freaking talented. Uh, I hope I can do another video with them soon.